Welcome to TechUV.com, your solution providers. This is Abhishek and today we're going to be working on the post crop vignetting tool in Lightroom. So one of the most important features of this tool is that it gives us much more command and much more control over every minute portions of an image. For example, now as you can see in the effects portion right here, uh, in the post crop vignetting, our style is uh, actually choose to highlight priority by default, but we can actually choose color priority because it gives us much more control over each and every portion of our color and not just the highlighted portions and the bright portion of image. So make sure that this is selected to color priority. Now, as you can see, if we take the amount slider to the left, this gives us a halo portion of black towards the inwards of the image and towards the right this actually makes it more bright towards the edge of the images so we're gonna make a modest selection of the vignetti and we can decrease the midpoints too because the midpoint actually further decreases the uh, density of the image from the corners and uh, make sure that the center of the image is still in highlight and it does the reverse of that if we move toward the right so we're gonna make a model selection to make sure that it looks good and uh, then there is roundness this is one of the great features uh, that we get because roundness in the left side it makes sure that the uh, our vignette is a rectangle and not a circle and towards the right size it actually gives it a pretty good circular shape we're gonna get a little rectangular look because that looks great in vintage photos and it look it looks good here too now as you can see by decreasing the feather we increase the sharpness of the boundary of our vignette and by increasing it it increases the softness of the boundary of the vignette and this is completely to the user that uh, to the requirement of the user because both either the completely rectangular or the completely circular part of the feather gives a perfect selection to us and it actually depends on each and every particular case that we, what we want so let me just make a bigger feather and we can further increase or decrease the highlights of the selection but we're gonna make sure that it is pretty low enough now one of the most important features of this post crop vignetting is uh, being able to control the green size let's just zoom in in a portion over here as you can see by increasing the amount we can actually control the noise and every single portion that we want and increasing the size we can actually control the green size making it more grainier or much less grainier and we can also choose the roughness by increasing which our image goes more rough around the corners and the edges and by decreasing it completely goes blank on the edges so what we're going to try to do is found a perfect balance that makes sure to make sure that our image is sharp around the edges and it still has a lot of details in it and increasing or decreasing the green size is also important because it actually directly is proportional to the number of pixels in an image so we're going to have to make sure that the dimension of the image is perfectly balanced or is actually proportional to the green size as you can see that gives us a pretty fine final and much more detailed picture than it was earlier now uh, it is completely up to you to dehaze or haze the picture if you wanted to I personally like to increase it just a little bit to increase the uh, shadows and make the shadows more black 
and as you can see we can toggle our selection till yet by clicking on this uh, effect and see what exactly we have done and if you want to make any further changes like increasing or decreasing the roundness we can do that too Now one more thing that we can do is go to the tone curve over here and we can select our point curve and because this is gives us more control over the points and to make sure that we get a particular a very specific big net look and we're gonna increase the curve from the left bottom portion over here to something that gives us a hold hazy that generally these old pictures have something like that we can change any other aspect of the image too by adjusting the curve right there now as you can see this gives us a much greater big net effect so that was our post crop big netting in Lightroom. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.